First thing I would say, try to um, personalize your application um, because this is what um, kind of makes, for example, me when I'm reviewing the, the CV uh, look differently for the candidates. If I, saw, if, if I see that the candidate actually put a lot of effort into preparing the application. So uh, whenever we have some uh, application questions, take some time to really uh, answer those questions. It doesn't have to be very long text. It often can be like a few sentences, but it's still enough like to show that you're motivated uh, to join Lab Forward and maybe why you're motivated, what made you apply. And I think this is, this is it. And then uh, if you see the job description and you do not uh, fulfill all the requirements, uh, like don't give up, try to apply. Uh, if, uh, if we see that there's a potential, uh, we can still speak and see uh, maybe there are some other positions uh, open in, in the company that might be interesting in the future. And uh, if, if you feel confident that you would like to um, uh, contribute to what we are doing in, in Lab Forward, just try and apply uh, and that's it. Interesting to, to, to work in this company. So you have you can bring your own qualities as a researcher uh, to the table, and they are not, you know, like they are really appreciated by by you by, by the team because like we we know research from 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 the inside basically, um, and then there's like also like all these other colleagues that you're just like interesting uh, people, yeah? um, and I think also the fact that we as a company um, support uh, science and, and technology, yeah? like I mean our customers are. Uh, universities, scientific institutions, uh, biotech and pharma companies, and all these these guys. I mean, you kind of stay in your in your uh, in, in your field, if you if you will. You so and, and you not helping uh, the like the advance of science and technology by by doing it yourself, but you actually help the scientists and researchers out there uh, with great tools um, that make their lives easier. Understanding your strength. And your weaknesses. Um, also, uh, look at your network. Uh, I think there are lots of folks there that you can use um, to better understand well what are the opportunities out there. Um, and I think the last one is to be open. You know, there are lots of ways you can apply your knowledge in ways that you may not have um, thought of. Well, the best career advice I got was from my dad, um, which is to try your best, do a good job, and um, the people you work with will remember that. So for people um, who are now searching for roles in, in the industry, who are still working in academia, I would give the advice to really search well online for the positions, for the possible positions that are out there. There are so many and uh, yeah, when having a background in academia, we don't really know what it entails to, to work in these positions. So I was searching a lot, I was doing my research. Sometimes um, I found a position that sounded interesting and then I searched for people on LinkedIn who had this position and I contacted them just to ask um, how is it to work in this position, what skills uh, do you need to work there and how did you reach uh, to, to have such a position. So I was just yeah, being very curious, uh, asking a lot and uh, doing a lot of research. And then another advice I would give you is to attend career events if possible, just to meet people who are in the same shoes like you, who are also searching for a job outside of academia, yeah, to interchange ideas and to, yeah, to just meet other persons who are in the same situation. And then lastly, I would give you the advice to just apply and try. Apply and try out because in the end you don't know if this really is a position for you unless you try. And um, yeah, this is what I did as well. I just um, tried um, another position before, which in the end wasn't a fit, but then now I'm here and it's a, a much better fit. So I think unless you try, you will never know if it's really good a position for you. Yeah.